Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am GDP and today for the Flame Shine series, Sigmund Boss, uh, we went away from the Colosseum army and decided to test Russell. Hello guys, uh, before we get started, I would appreciate if you guys hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, today for the Flame Shine series, we are going to go away from the Delosseum army and we are going to go focus on uh, Russell for PvE today. We are going to try to maximize his damage as much as possible with what I can work with. Um, so to go over the gearing, uh, let's start off with Russell himself. Um, I'm going to run a 1-3 split up with his gear with an attack attack stone. Unfortunately, I can't take this stone up anymore, so we're just going to go with an attack attack. I got the glittery antlers cane on him with full red enables. Um, for our healer, we're going to have Felrain with magic stone sword. Um, enables are fine here with a 1-3 split up. Uh, Drake is going to have a 1-3 with holy damage HP and an antlers cane. Um, I don't think the stone really matters on him. As long as he's faster than uh, Russell, we are okay. He's at 50, 1568, while uh, Russell is at 54. Um, to continue maximizing his, his damage, uh, we will be using also an Olivia. Um, I think I can go away with this and maybe run a... Yeah, so I can run an Olivia with a... Demon Bell to make her faster than Russell at uh, 1561 while he's four. Uh, so that is four heroes. For our last two heroes, we are going to run Heart Watcher, obviously, and uh, I'm using an AMB to make him make her faster than Russell. And then we are going to use a Death Sworn with Magic Source for our Burn Hero. So let's go ahead, go into our guild, go into Flame Shrine. Uh, we're going to pull out our two Delosiums and our Sigmund. Um, I'm going to pop, pop in our uh, Death Sworn, take out the Thakwa, put in Olivia, put in the Belrain, and then put in the Russell. So I'm going to have, uh, let's have the Russell, let's have the Belrain get attacked. Uh, so that way she will have a bunch of actives and maybe that will help uh, increase damage. So let's go ahead and see how this team does. Uh, I would imagine they, they Drake and Russell are going to synergize really well because they both attack the lowest HP target. So uh, his light arrows will always be going for the end, uh, target. So he is charging up his arrows, and he did get the Phoenix buff. Unfortunately, Olivia has not shrunk the Sigmund yet. In the front line. So hopefully next round, uh, Olivia will shrink that front line Sigmund. Uh, the Death Warren finally died. We got 17 million on these light heroes. Once again, Olivia is not shrinking that front line segment. Back line right there. A 37 million each light arrow. All right, so that time the segment in the front did get uh, reduced and we got 48 million each hit. And Russell did once again get the Phoenix buff. And the frontline segment is now hit again, so 72 million each light arrow. These, this damage is starting to ramp up really quickly. Alright, so we're going to have an active coming from Russell here. He hit for 1 billion on that frontline segment with 86 million light, light, light arrows. That is absolutely insane. 87 million on this segment, and he has not shrunk. So if, uh, if he was shrunk, he would get about 30% more damage from that. 
Uh, once again, Frontline Sigmund did not get shrunk. Um, but hopefully in these last few rounds, he will be shrunk. Nope. But hopefully in this last round, Olivia will do the job. There we go. 113 million per light hero. Or light arrow. And we got 16 billion damage. So Russell did 14.6 billion damage right there. Um, with Drake falling at 1 billion, but we don't care about Drake's damage. We're trying to focus on Russell and boost him as much as possible, and Drake is amazing for that. Uh, so Russell appears to be an amazing hero. They're trying to just boost his damage. I'm actually. I actually wish I still had a Gurk because I feel like. The Gurk on Russell would be really, 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 really good. Um, but unfortunately, get the Russell, I replaced the Gurky. So, <laughs> trade offs, trade offs, right? <laughs> Hopefully, this uh, Death Sworn will die here shortly. I, I wasn't really watching. I couldn't see if uh, Russell got the Phoenix buff or not. Looks like he did, maybe? Can't tell. Fortunately, this Death Warrant is not dying. There he goes. Need that front segment shrunk. There we go. And 11 million per hit with the Phoenix buff coming out here next. Yep, and Russell got it. But he's gonna charge up his arrow. And he's doing 27 million each time. I think the, I think at round 15, we're doing about like 112 million last time. So let's see if it gets any higher this time. 36 million each time. Hopefully he gets the Phoenix buff right here, and he does. Hopefully he... Nope, uh, Ron Sigmund was shrunk, so only at 41 million damage here. Uh, that shrink doesn't really matter because we're having a charge arrow here. This next shrink is the one that matters. And it went on the right boss, and 1 billion damage on that front Sigmund with 68 million light arrow ticks. And now we're up to 91 million. And hopefully the Olivia shrank the right segment and no, he did, she did not. So we're back down to 72 million. Uh, we're gonna have a light arrow charge in round 15. So this next shrink doesn't matter a whole lot. It was not on the right segment, so this, this next shrink is critical hopefully it'll go on the right one actually it doesn't matter because uh russell had a bell rain speed buff and olivia did not this one was a lot lower at 12 billion um so the next thing i want to do is uh i want to switch up this team i want to see if i can increase the damage as the team overall rather than just russell himself so we are going to instead of using olivia we are going to use an Aqua. Um, we use our same setup on her. Um, red enables. Um, her speed is 1568, while Drake is also 1568. Um, so this time we're going to have to make sure that the Drake is faster. And I want this Aqua to be in the front line, so I can't put the Drake first before. Um, so. We're gonna have to go over to a speed enable for Drake. Um, we'll pull out this Olivia, pop in a Thakwa, move her to the front line. So now we've got the same team, um, but this time there will be no Olivia shrinks. So Russell's damage uh, potential cap will probably be a lot lower, but I, I have a feeling that this team's damage overall will be better than before.
Though we're already at 16 million on those light arrows. Oh, that that's where it needs to die here soon. Uh, he got hit, but then he got healed back up. So hopefully he does not absorb a Phoenix buff here. And he did not, went on Russell and did not go on Ataqua though. I think the, uh, yep, the Deskwarn's going to die there. So the reason why I chose Athaqua over any other uh, damage heroes is because Athaqua specifically targets the low HP enemy. So does Drake, and so does Russell. So all three of these heroes have PvE synergy with each other. Aqua's getting hurt real bad from those Sigmunds, but she's, she'll heal herself up when she, uh, she hits. Hopefully she doesn't die here, though. Oh, she did die. I might have to run, um... I might have to run Purify on the Aqua. Just so she can absorb those hits from the Sigmund and not have to worry about her dying or her dying. And uh, 109 million hits on those uh, light arrows. Uh, 17.5 billion. Um, so Aqua's damage a lot lower than I'm used to. Um, Probably because the antler, Liberty Antlers Cane is on the Russell Rep Aqua. But I got one more test to uh, do, and to do that, I'm actually going instead of running Aqua, I am going to run a variety of heroes here. I'm going to run Ruta. Give, hit, give her the Antlers Cane, and give her the right gear set up. With the holy damage attack attack. Uh gonna make sure she doesn't die. I'm gonna go with Purify. Um just to make sure this Garuda doesn't die. Well actually I think I could run the Bell Rain in the slot. So I'm going to do that. Garuda doesn't really matter if uh they're doing actives every single round. It's actually probably better if they're not. That way they can just stack up some feathers and then do actives. This time we'll have Garuda instead of Aqua. So today for the Flame Shrine, we have seen four different teams um, just to kind of show what Drake does, what Russell does, and what kind of team synergy you can have with uh, Steam for these heroes. I know it's not as good as the Delosium Army. Um, nothing is going to be as good as the Delosium Army. But I wanted to see how good Russell is in PvE. And it appears that at least paired with Drake, he is absolutely phenomenal. He is great. For a single, like if you need a hero that can just destroy Russell is pretty dang good at that. He does a lot of damage. Need this Deathsworn to die right here. And he will. Alright, so we got a Phoenix buff coming up here shortly. Uh, 512 billion hit. Hopefully that Gruta stays alive. No, the Gruta did not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have ran a bending whip on the Gruta. 
Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to I'm going to hit skip here. Um unless we want to watch how high these uh light arrows hit. We could. We can try to see how high these uh light arrows go. Seventy two million there. And then eighty three million there. We'll get one more Phoenix buff, I think. Eighty six million. Then we'll get a bunch of actives here. I think we'll get actually one more Phoenix buff. Yes. The last active from Russell here did not crit. And once again, 109 million per hit. At 15.7 billion damage. So, it's a showcase there. Russell's damage is amazing. Unfortunately, the Garuda died to Sigmund's dots. Um, yeah, so I think yesterday we were at 308 million, uh, billion. Um, so we did about 62, I think that right? Yeah, it's about 62 damage, 62 billion damage. Um, so thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you guys answered your questions on how good uh, Russell is in PvP. Um, it looks like to me, at least in my opinion, he's going to fit right up there with Garuda on his or his damage potential. Um, 14 billion, 15, 16 billion, that's, that's really, really solid. Uh, probably it's going to place him into the S tier onto the damage tier list. So um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Flameshine series.